We've got some exciting news. People are using diabetes drugs and a certain herb in order to be able to eat carbs, to be able to eat cookies and desserts, especially in the holiday season, without the blood sugar impact and the insulin impact that normally would lead to weight gain and cravings and having to struggle with getting rid of all this excess fat and the cravings and the binge eating on the other side of New Year's Eve. So if you're interested in what herbs to take, what supplements to take, to be able to eat all the sweet foods without damaging mood and weight and appetite and blood sugar levels, this video is for you. So before we dive in, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Maybe leave a comment because that helps me spread the, the, the word and the news about how to turn autism symptoms and any other symptom around by healing yourself. Who do not love having dessert, enjoying the holidays, enjoying the food, enjoying the cookies, enjoying the sweet stuff just over Christmas and maybe New Year's Eve. But who enjoys the consequences that most of us live with, especially when we have children who struggle and especially as autism moms with ADHD symptoms or depression or anxiety. The consequences tend to be more cravings, more binge eating, weight gain, feeling sluggish, feeling heavy, mood swings, not only for us, but for our children. And that's because it's a known fact that blood sugar is directly linked to behavior when it comes to autism. So if your blood sugar is unstable, so is the mood. Uh, um, instable blood sugar also is linked to excess receptibility to glutamate, which are these these uh, neuro excitatories that actually keep create more aggression, more anxiety, more anger. And frankly, yeah, Christmas desserts are lovely and nice, but not really worth it when we have to battle with weight and cravings and symptoms and aggression and anxiety and depression afterwards. Now, there might be a solution for that. And I've been experimenting with this myself and in my family based on what Andrew Huberman, who's a very uh, talented neuroscientist, um, and he's at Stanford University, and he's been trialing metformin and berberine, which is an, a herb, a, an amazing herbal supplement that has capacities that are just beyond understanding. They are so amazing that, of course, God must have created berberine. It's known to be effective against cancer, so people are using it as a natural cancer treatment. Um, it's known to improve heart health and be really effective to reduce inflammation. But in this case, berberine is as effective as a diabetes drug, metformin, when it comes to lowering insulin, weight management, blood sugar management, minimizing the blood glucose impact when you're eating sweet foods. So for um, Huberman, who's someone who's tracking everything, he's tracking his blood, he's tracking his blood sugar and the impact of foods on his body. He used metformin for a while and he also used berberine for a while on his cheat days, which will be the t days where he eat everything, eats everything from pizza to croissants to candy, ice cream, whatever he wants. And the impact on blood sugar levels and blood glucose levels is, was really, really minimal when he took berberine um, before and after eating. And so one gram of berberine, so a thousand milligrams, is said to lower the impact of glucose, blood glucose, by 30 to 30 percent up to 30 percent and so he measured that and he found that to be true so it's as effective as a drug metformin which is taken uh, for uh, to lower the the insulin level and impact on blood glucose levels when we are eating foods carbs especially particularly so my idea which is some it, this is something that i've tested myself is uh, is to take berberine before a meal just like you would metformin 
you can take two of the 500 milligrams. The HCL version of it is supposed to be more effective. There are different types of berberine. Thorn in the US produces um, a trusted and a clean supplemental version of berberine. I personally use berberine from, um, um, what's it called? Herbaactive.co.uk. He's a herbalist and he harvests and, and sources these organic herbs and he, his products are just so amazing and so bioavailable. So I prefer the tonic version. It does have a bit of alcohol in it for the bioavailability, but that's berberine that I prefer. And if you want more information about it, you can check out the links below this video. There might be some affiliate links as well. So uh, just be mindful of that. And I'm not here to diagnose. I'm not here to treat anything. I'm not here to prescribe anything. I'm not a healthcare practitioner. This is strictly educational and any use or misuse of products that I mention in this educational video is on by on your own it's your own responsibility and i don't take responsibility for any effects or side effects that's caused by directly or indirectly by by following this ed educational material and what i'm talking about in this video but so berberine hcl or the tonic you take that before the meal and after the meal and for me, I can I can truly feel and sense and measure. I'm measuring my, my blood sugar as well. That the impact of food is much less than if I don't take the berberine. So, um, yeah, berberine is one. And then B1, the supplemental form of B1, is also a, a great idea because B1, just like berberine is really great at supporting your metabolism and your ability to tolerate and deal with carbs. So if you're someone who's been keto and you're not used to eating a lot of sweet stuff, you're not using to eat bread or carbs and you're entering into a holiday season, you want to indulge a bit, B1 might be a good idea because it helps the body adjust to and adapt to and be able to handle the carb load. So I'm not saying take these supplements on a regular basis or these herbs on a regular basis to be able to eat foods that aren't good for you. But I'm saying it's great to sometimes be able to indulge and just let go and relax for your nervous system and for your, your enjoyment of life and then have herbs or remedies that can make the impact less harmful when you're actually doing this. And fretting about food and stressing about food and having a lot of rules around food is actually more stressful and more harmful to your nervous system and your cortisol levels, which also affects the blood sugar, than let loose every once in a while and have fun. Just know and remember that food absolutely impacts behavioral issues hyperactivity aggression sensory issues tantrums eloping cognitive development or lack of so it's really important that you do adjust foods and if you're in doubt or if you need help with that you can always contact me at contact at barefootautismwarriors.com send me a personal email I do ask that you send me a personal email. I don't offer you a quick link or a quick fix because I know I can't help you if you are not even able to open up your computer, pause this video and send me an email describing what it is that you need help with. If you can do that, I can possibly get you to a better place and your child to more independence following the, the five steps that I took over eight years to get my son from stimming, screaming, sleepless nights, tantrums, eloping and no learning and development to none of those symptoms and fully independent neurotypical life now as an adult. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and like this video so that you can stay tuned for my next episode and go to barefootautismwarriors.com and send me an email or download one of the free guides to get started turning your life around. See you next time. Okay, caveat, warning. Listen to this. Do not take berberine or metformin for that matter if you're not planning on having a high carb meal because it, it really lowers the blood sugar and it clears the body from glucose and that can be dangerous. So this is not something to just experiment with. 
really be careful and maybe consult with a healthcare practitioner before even trying this because low blood sugar is dangerous as well. So don't do this unless you're really planning on a very high carb meal, not just to clear out an apple or, or don't get into eating disorder habits. And if you have any history of eating disorder or disto disordered eating or body dysmorphia, don't even go there. Don't even use this. So just a little warning.